Hi. Well, I'll tell you the truth. I don't look on liver as a gustatory delight, but uh, I am delighted with its chemistry. The liver, of course, is the body's prime detoxicating organ. The question comes up, what does it really do? Let me try to show you. I've got some hydrogen peroxide here and a nice array of chicken liver. Well, I'll take a piece of this uh, liver and put it in my glass here. Now we're going to apply some hydrogen peroxide. And let's just see what happens. Then we will talk about what we are seeing. So here we go. One, two, three, and watch it foam. What is a foam? A foam is really nothing more than bubbles of a gas trapped in a liquid. The bubbles here are bubbles of oxygen. So here's what happens. Hydrogen peroxide, H2O2, forms in our body as a byproduct of inhaling oxygen. Now, oxygen is a double-edged sword. We can't live without it, but we can't live with it either, because as we use oxygen in our body, it gives rise to basically what we call friendly fire, type of uh, oxygen that is highly, highly reactive. And uh, those reactive oxygen uh, molecules, uh, we call them superoxide, uh, can break apart uh, proteins, they can break apart DNA. However, the body has various systems in order to deal with the hydrogen peroxide that is formed in our body as a byproduct of inhaling oxygen. And one of these is the liver. The liver contains an enzyme called catalase, and that breaks down the hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen. That's what you see here. So what we now have here are bubbles of oxygen that are forming. And this essentially is uh, one of the ways that the liver detoxicates. But let me tell you another interesting little story about this. Hydrogen peroxide can be broken down not only by the liver, it can be broken down by a variety of uh, other substances, catalysts. Catalase that we looked at before is a protein that is found naturally in the liver. What I have here, is manganese dioxide, MnO2. This also is capable of breaking down H2O2 hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen. This is a very exothermic reaction, meaning that it produces a great deal of heat. So remember what we're gonna do. We're gonna break down the liquid hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen. A lot of heat is produced. The water is going to turn into steam. Let's see what happens. Let me add the MnO2, and notice we get the vigorous bubbling, and we get the breakdown of the hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen. It is very exothermic. A lot of heat is being produced. The water is actually being turned into steam, and look what happens. As the pressure builds up inside, the steam emerges from the flask. Here we go. Watch it come out. Now, that's a fascinating reaction. Believe it or not, it's a reaction that has been used on stage and on TV. You remember the old television show, I Dream of Genie? Well, that's how the genie came out of the bottle. So now you know something about the magical genie in the bottle and also about how our liver kind of magically gets rid of hydrogen peroxide, which is a natural toxin that is formed in the body as a result of inhaling oxygen. I'm still not fond of eating the liver, but I sure do like its chemistry.